Hi, welcome. I'm Kathy Freeman with KathyFreemanArt.com, and I was busy creating a video for my membership group to show them um, how to create some of these little images that you see here on my table. And I thought I would go ahead and share that with you. But first, I want to explain. Uh, I'm making these so that I can uh, put them together in with some fabric and some paper and just make some cute little clusters in that that I can put onto my journaling pages, uh, maybe some tags and things, cards that I'm making. I wanted to make this layered a look. To do that, I went ahead and made these little images with watercolor to start with. And I I'm sharing with um, you I seem to be stuttering over my words here. Give me a second. I'm sharing with you um, right now how I created some of these. When I was doing it and I made the video, I was thinking, oh, this is a mess. This is not working out well. But then after um, I played with it a little bit longer, isn't that how art is, how it works out, everything seemed to come together nicely. And I love this. Let's see if I can get you a clear enough. There we go. Can you see the variation, the, um, the variegated coloring that's going on in here? When I created this, I started out with um, putting down the masking uh, pen. I used the masking pen and then I used the green, started putting on the layers of green. Once I rubbed off the masking, it didn't, I didn't like the way it looked. And that's why I was saying, I was like, oh, this didn't work out. So what I did is I picked up my watercolors and I went back over it with a lighter shade of watercolor, a different, a lighter green. And I love the results of it. I love how it's just so um, organic and it's got all that going on. And, you know, to make that without using the masking would have been impossible for me to do actually but these are a few of the things that I did create that I'm making my little stash that I can layer on top of paper and top of fabric and that um, this is a nice greenery of leaves here it's just watercolor with um, a, a white pen over the top of course my little mousy that uh, I got the stamp recently these fun simple easy to make little flowers that will be cute and to just little sprigs of green. So I'm going to share with you right now. I'll turn over and you can see how I created these. And um, I'm encouraging you to make yourself just a little stash that you can have ready to go. Um, save yourself some time by getting doing that. And then having that put away. And when you want to make a nice project, a tag, a card, something, you've got those things ready and you're not having to make those separately as, you, as you're as you trying to complete the project. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn this down and you can see on top of my tabletop and follow along with me creating these. I'm going to do this first because it has to dry and I can do the stamp. You get an idea of where I'm going to put that stamp. There we go. Raise some of that off. Okay. Let's make some greenery. I can draw with this. A watercolor, so I'm using this masking right now to help me Okay, I think these little leaves and stuff. Let's 
go ahead and color this in so it stays. Make these kind of larger. Right, I've done several of these now. I'm going to use my marker here. And draw some more. Just if 
filling up the same shape here. Let's do this one. This might be a little bit harder to cut out. Add another one right here. Use up the space, right? Here, we'll let that dry just a little bit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the stamp for the little... that down sketch a little bit of it back on here. There we go. That's great. Go ahead and do it with little eyes right here. Whiskers, make those a little more prominent. There. Okay, let's see. Good deal. Now, hope that dries. Everything needs to dry a little bit. Let's get my watercolors out and we'll start watercoloring. And while I've got my watercolors, I'll grab another sheet. Just go to town. Now I'm making all these little these uh, so that when I do my little journal entries or whatever, I can have this. These are complete. They're ready to go. Let's start with. Let's wet this down. I love those greens right here in this palette. Just start with adding some of that into these. So if you ever have, you know, you've got a day that you just want to be creative a little bit, but not pull, it's a great idea to start making yourself some little ephemera pieces, little pieces that you can use. I 
And this could actually be too with um, markers or anything. Doesn't have to be. And I'm doing what I'm doing here is I'm doing wet on dry, which is uh, making it. Again, lift some of that up. Add a little bit more there. This is a deep midnight blue, but you add it in and it starts to give that, tur you know, the turquoise, the blue green effect. I'll be cutting all this out. So press down. Let's just make our own little leaves for a second. If I don't run into my little mouse here, I want to make sure that I give myself plenty of room to cut him out. Add that green. Add that in there. back in give it little shadowy areas there. let that dry Is that focused not very good anyway that gives lots of play on color and I love making these little just like sprigs of leaves Go ahead and do this one in this green here. And 
I'm going to go ahead and start painting into this right here. Bring back the deeper cut of green. Here we go. It's pretty. I'm going to leave that one. I'm tempted to add some of the turquoise to it. <laughs> but I'm going to leave that. We'll step over here to this one. There we go. Here. All right, let's do this little mousy. Make him, I've got some green in my brush here a little bit, so. To need to blend that out a little better right there. And I have a pink in one of my others, kind of a, let's do it as little ears. These are great to just take a moment. You don't 
you don't really have a project you're working on, just work on making these little elements that you can add to your art journals to your little things. I'm going to wet this first. I'm going to go outside of the flower. Grab my favorite magenta. And drop that in. Grab this orange yellow over here. Actually, grab some orange. Grab some blue. This is really acting a lot different than I'm used to. Uh, I think it's because of the um, the masking. Not sure.
is a really bright green. I think I'll go out past the masking. I'm experimenting now. Now this is a total experimentation right here. I just want to see what would what will happen. Take some of that off. See, grab. I think this is a blue. No, it's kind of a, it's a green. It's a very dark green. Not sure what this is going to turn out like, but it's going to be fun just playing with it. <laughs> All right. Give it a little dry and see what we've got happening here. Start cutting out some of these pieces. dry this a little bit longer while I is this a fine tip that's a nope fill in some of these little things here
You can see in a little black in this area. There. Now, let's start removing the masking and see what I've got here. Well, that's interesting that is interesting and it's kind of I mean it's definitely different than <laughs> maybe even just cutting that whole thing I hadn't planned on that I just added but that's interesting Let's see what we've got going here for just a good old school eraser. I had one. I don't know where it's at this moment. My good drawing eraser. I wouldn't use that. That ends up pulling up the watercolor too. Well, let's see. Don't use your grid erasers for this if you're going to use it. Let's see what happens with this one. <laughs> You know what this reminds me of is actually a car, you know, when you do some carving or something, the way this is coming out, it reminds me of printing and you, you're carving.
Well, that is a totally different look. And I think it's kind of, it would make kind of a cool image there, you know? Let's go back in with some, where's my watercolor? leave some of this white that I've got it makes for a really lot different leaf than what I usually make I think it's I think it looks kind of neat. Yes, sir, I do, I do. That I do think that looks kind of neat. Now this one over here I could leave, but still pulling stuff off of that. I think we're going to go back into this one. Let's take the light green. Now go over the white area. Kind of interesting. It's bringing out the leaf shape, I feel like, a lot more than if I just left it white. There we go. I like that. I'm going to go outside of this line a little bit because watercolor is meant to be loose. Not so controlled. Of course, I'll be cutting away at this too, so. Yes, I do like this. I could leave this one white, but let's go back in with the dark. We're on a roll. Okay, that just... Just filled that up. 
Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Lifting up some of that. go I've got a little bit there. I do like this though, just kind of going back over this, where I left the white and it's showing. I'm not crazy about that one, but I'll um, see what I can do to. Maybe fix a little bit of it or something here. I feel like the more I'm working on that one, I'm the more I'm messing that up. Just try pulling some of that off. I'll cut around it. This is just my so what I'm gonna do is dry it. Come back in, 
grab that green. Grab that green. There we go. nice see how controlled all of that is and this is just so free flowing i love it i love it and still feel some of that on there rub some of that off See where my white one I'm going to do with black. All right, cut these out a little bit, a little scissors. So I might just cut it out, leaving some of this green. Now, as we cut all this out, then you've got great, these little elements that are ready to go. So when you're working on a project or something and you want to add.
Oops. <laughs> Pulled that right apart. To try to put that, glue that back together once I get it cut, separated. Or uses two different pieces. That might work. takes a little bit of time to cut all this out so I will uh, go ahead and continue cutting on this and then I'll just post a picture when I'm done you can see what I've got all right thanks for letting me share this with you I think that this is a great solution for whenever you're feeling like oh, I just don't feel like you know creating a big project today uh, or maybe something's going on you know uh, I've got uh, a family member that's ill and I've been dealing, you know, trying to help in that with that for the last three weeks. And it tends to occupy a lot of space in our mind and it makes it challenging to sit down and really create a project. But if you can just set yourself aside a little bit of time, do some little things like this that you can put away and, you know, in a stash, you've got them ready for when you want to make a card, a tag, it's a great way to be creative through the day. It's um, low pressure <laughs> and it uh, is very relaxing. It's calming for when you're feeling a lot going on in your world. All right. I just want to say have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Come visit my website, kathyfreemanart.com. Take a look at what's going on there and I will see you later. Bye.